Everybody of my vintage, at least, remembers what happened on November 22nd of 1963 when the President of the United States was assassinated. Everybody knows exactly where they were at that time. They'll never forget it because it probably was the most chilling moment uh, uh, together with 9-11 that I experienced in my lifetime. And I had the uh, occasion to go to the Dealey Plaza to have this exhibit here is extraordinary. This is um, what Las Vegas is all about. We, we pride ourselves, uh, they call it reinventing ourselves, but we pride ourselves in having attractions which will bring people into our community that they couldn't experience anyplace else. And I salute the Tropicana for having this here. It's going to be in the pavilion and uh, folks are going to be able to start off actually going through the fuselage that is behind us uh, to experience what it was like on Air Force One at that time, and uh, to have that as part of our community, I think makes us even a better place than we were before it came here. So uh, that gave me a reason uh, to start drinking again and making a toast to the Tropicana, making a toast to the exhibit, and wishing everybody well. Hopefully it'll attract thousands of thousands of people from all over the world who will experience the feeling of JFK. Cheers. Mayor Goodman's always a hard act to follow. But we're very appreciative that the Tropicana is hosting this exhibition. This, um, it always means a lot to have something like this on the Strip, and I think this will draw people here because, as the Mayor mentioned, I think people in our generation remember exactly where they were, exactly what they were doing at the moment they found out the President had been assa ass um, assassinated. And I think we will bring worldwide visitors into the Tropicana to see this exhibition, to look at personal effects from the president and from Jacqueline, and especially excited, we're speaking with Mr. Waller about getting children in here from our community to be able to see the exhibit. So we're very excited to have it at the Tropicana in District G and congratulate them and wish the exhibition well. Thank you. Uh, we are thrilled to have the JFK exhibit here at the Tropicana Las Vegas. And it's not every day you get a chance to drive to work and have Air Force One uh, on the corner. So uh, again, a very exciting day and a very exciting time for us. Uh, we strive to offer our guests of a variety of entertainment options here at the Tropicana Las Vegas. And uh, this is a wonderful compliment uh, to two other shows that we have going on in November as well. Uh, the guests that are going to be coming here to view the exhibit are going to love the opportunity to view these iconic uh, JFK memorabilia that's here, as well as the opportunity to experience some of the interactive exhibit areas that they have here. You know, it usually takes six months to plan uh, an exhibit like this, and uh, the Tropicana and the staff have pulled this off in less than three months. You know, John Kennedy asked not what you, your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. And I have to say that the Tropicana and the people here and the uh, foreign mayor's uh, uh, people, they have stepped forward and they're doing something for the people of America, bringing us here, this great uh, 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 section of, of America that will be here, a cross section. And I want to thank them for really uh, pulling, uh, pulling this together. This John F. Kennedy collection that I've put together, I do not collect just to keep it and then sell it one day. This probably will be given to a museum, everything that I have. I collect it so other people can see it. I want to share it. Much of the uh, exhibit items here have been in storage for more than 50 years. It'll be 51 years ago this next, uh, next month that President Kennedy was killed. And uh, a lot of these things have not been seen, so this is the first place that they'll be seen uh, in the light of day in, uh, in more than 50 years. You'll be able to hear the audio tapes, the actual audio tapes, on that day in November 22nd when the White House was relaying messages to the uh, Air Force One about what had happened and they'd be expecting President Kennedy's uh, arrival back at the airplane. And we have the tape of uh, President Lyndon Johnson calling uh, John Kennedy's mother, Rose Kennedy, and giving his condolences. Uh, so it gives you a real eerie feeling in there because the inside of the airplane is exactly the way it was on that day in November 1963. It's a pleasure and a dream for me to have it here in Las Vegas. 
so many thousands of people that would never get to see it will get to experience it. Thank you very much.